Yo, what's going on, Cowboys fans? It's your boy, Fuss the King. As always, thank you all for liking, sharing, and subscribing. You guys see Jay Smith right there? Doesn't he look big? My God, dude looks like Booker T. You know, guys remember the wrestler Booker T? Dude, listen, Jalen Smith looks in shape. He looks cut. He's moving around well. Brace off. You guys see the quote right there. Um, he feels he's 100%. And so... I wanted to hit this quick topic just to kind of gauge you all's mindset. Um, will there be a battle at middle linebacker? You see Leighton Van Der Esch um, moving around right there. Now, there have been times in the past where the Cowboys just kind of, you know, hand the wheels over. Zach Martin, um, you know, hand the keys over and drive. Zach Martin, a few other. Obviously, Ezekiel Elliott, you know, he was the guy. That's it. There wasn't no, you didn't ease him in. He was it. But will there be a case because of how good, you know, if Jalen Smith is healthy, he really can be. And let's not forget, you know, last year towards the end of the season, he came on. He really did. The San Francisco game, he was blitzing, taking on trash well. Um, and that was something that he struggled with in Notre Dame. And then, you know, you got to think about early on, he was, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't as good. But then the sideline and sideline things. And, and just think about where Jalen Smith would have been drafted had it not been for the injury. You would have had to take him. If you wanted Jalen Smith, you would have had to take him over Ezekiel Elliott. That's how good of a prospect Jalen Smith was. So then fast forward to now. Um, he's beat every odd. People said he couldn't walk again. People said he couldn't play football again. People said he couldn't do this, and he's beating every eye. The drop foot, he wouldn't be able to go turn. He doesn't feel the foot. And, you know, looking at him running around, he looks like he feels his feet well. Um, it Will this be a situation that, obviously, Sean, is your will. That's done. But at some point, he's going to get hurt. Will this be a situation where Jalen Smith just doesn't give the job up? Training camp. He's too good to take out of there because you got to also think about, you know, the Cowboys will be in nickel more than 60, 70 percent of the time because of what what the what teams are trying to do. And, you know, the nickel basically is only two linebackers, your middle and your will. Will this be a case where because your strong side, you know, he's in there in base. But, you know, so will this be a case where Van Der Esch learns and he's now able to play both? And, you know, because they want their linebackers to know every all three positions in this 4-3 defense. Um, and I'm not saying that Van Der Esch, you know, is a bust or a scrub or any of that. But it's going to be a learning curve for him. And let's be honest, Jalen Smith at his best and Van Der Esch at his best, I think that Jalen Smith is a better, he's a better player. So what do you guys think? Um Who's going to start the year off at middle linebacker? Will there be a competition or will they just hand over the keys to Leighton Vanderesh? Peace.